So today is Mother's Day. Welcome down the rabbit hole, friends. I'm so glad that you're here. I actually had a whole video going up about Mother's Day. I'll have to put it in later. Unfortunately, I didn't get it done in time. But Gypsy Rose Blanchard is speaking out about her mom, Dee Dee, on Mother's Day. No doubt she felt pressured to do this because people were all over the internet being like, is Gypsy going to talk about her bio mom? What's going on here? Hey. So today is Mother's Day and I wanted to make a video basically celebrating the- Okay, first and foremost, Gypsy seems so excited to be doing this. Like she's jazzed up. And I wanted to make a video about having to go on screen and talk about motherhood. Like I'm sure in no way did Lifetime tell her that she needed to tramp down all the bullshit that people were saying about her not talking about her mom. I'm sure in no way that influenced her making this video. I'm sure they didn't script it for her either um, because she seems absolutely excited to get down to the details of how much she loves her mom. The really strong and wonderful women that I have in my life that have been mother figures to me over the last eight and a half years um i first want to start off by saying i did turn off the comments to this video Smart. <laughs> good idea <laughs> now i will say that um i've heard and i believe it's 100 percent true that a big part of, of the upcoming reality tv show series with gypsy is going to be about how much it affected her mental health that social media people were basically calling her out on her bullshit you know a lot of people had a lot of negative things to say and it was hard on her and i get that i can understand um but we always have to remember that if we put ourselves out there publicly um then people have the right to talk about us they have the right to criticize us it's our choice you know whether or not we decide to put ourselves um in a public venue through social media and gypsy rose has 100 percent chosen to get out there be a part of social media be a part of instagram and tiktok and she's getting a massive paycheck because of it because I don't want to hear any negative bullshit. If you want to talk shit about me, by all means, I don't give an F. Go do it on your own platform, but I'm not going to see it in my comments. But I think this is great and smart of Gypsy. Let's be honest. This is how the internet really works. Some people are going to love her. Maybe a lot more people are going to hate her and she's going to receive hateful comments. It's better to ignore it. If this is what you want to do, if this is your choice after murdering your mother and then going to prison and, you know, having all these documentaries and movies done about you and you want to continue down that road of putting your life out there, you're going to receive a lot of criticism. And much of it is going to be fair. Like it's fair for people to call you out and say, you killed your mom. Now it's Mother's Day. Like <laughs> we don't feel comfortable. This is awkward. Like watching you post about going to the beach and such like that and getting your nails done and, you know, going shopping. <laughs> And having Christy Blanchard look over your shoulder and make fun of you while you shop for your makeup. Like, it's awkward for us to watch that. And people are questioning, like, what you're up to and what you're doing with your life. Okay. So, there's that. Secondly, it does not go without notice that my own biological mother is not here um, to celebrate Mother's Day. Um, and what I choose to feel on Mother's Day regarding my own mother is that I think the best of her. I think about the good times. Okay, let me break in here and say it's clear to me that Dee Dee Blanchard was one effed up mother effer. Okay, let's just be really honest about that. I'm so tired of people like making excuses for her. What she did to her daughter, what she did with her entire life, the way that she turned out, the way that she lived, isolated alone with her daughter like that, not sending her to school, just living and, you know, apparently eating and eating and eating until she was the size of someone who had difficulty getting out of the bed. Like this was not a good situation. She was not being a good mother. She was not being a good person. All right. We have to be honest about that. I mean, that is part of what led us down the road to this tragedy. And Dee Dee should be held responsible for some of that. 
Um, there's also a lot of responsibility that Gypsy needs to take onto her own shoulders, and we know that. We've spoken about it here on this channel. I think about her as not what she did to me, but I think about her as a person. And I think that, was she a good mom? No. Was she the best mom in the world? No. But she was still my mom. So what I choose to feel about her, whether that be guilt, anger, grief, resentment, whatever, um, that's mine to feel. No one can take away my own feelings about my own mother. I agree with that. And I actually feel like it sounds like Gypsy has been having a lot of therapy. Okay, I'm all about therapy. I also think it can really get to you where you feel like you're the world's therapist now. And you have to be like, look, guys, let me let you know how things work around here. Um, I have the right to feel my own feelings. Everyone feels their own feelings. I feel my, like, it just becomes too much at some point. Um, but I do see Gypsy here, like, really speaking the rhetoric that I think a therapist would have said to her. And I feel like nobody should be able to have an opinion about my mother, except for her family. Hold up. Wait a minute. Okay, this is where you've gone wrong, my friend Gypsy. You have put your mother out there time and time again, not just with the murder, but through signing all these contracts, through going ahead and going forward with making money off of your story. You have put her out there. You've put yourself, your family, and all of your bullshit out there for all of us to judge and talk about and make a big deal over. And that's part of the reason why you get any money to begin with. That's part of the reason that you were able to get out of prison because people really pushed for you. So no, we have a right to have an opinion. We have an opinion about you as well. And you've made the choice to put yourself out there for us to be able to create these opinions. So, I mean, I really disagree with Gypsy when it comes to wanting to all of a sudden protect the sanctity of her mother, her relationship with her mom and all that stuff. Now, privately, you know, she, she doesn't have to tell us what she's thinking and feeling. She's of no obligation to us to give us all that information, but she keeps giving it to us. She keeps putting it out there. She keeps putting her face into our face. <laughs> Like, we cannot get away. We cannot look away. Um, so, I mean, what does she want from us? We're going to judge. And me, because we were the people closest to her. Everybody else does not matter. But I choose to remember her for the good that was in her heart, that I truly believe was there. I have been working for years on forgiveness, and I hope that she is in heaven, and I hope that to some degree, I make her proud of at least some of the achievements that I've made in my life. And Sadly, I do think, unfortunately, that lately Gypsy probably has really made her mother proud because she's kind of become everything that Dee Dee really wanted to be, which is like a famous grifter who makes money off of like manipulating people, going out and like getting her hair done, doing whatever she wants, screwing people over, like just a bunch of stuff that Gypsy's been doing or like interacting with people behind the scenes who are doing crazy toxic things. Um, you know, she's kind of become what I think Dee Dee probably wanted to be and never really made it. She had to use Gypsy to try to get there, to get all these free things, to go on cruises, to become special, to get attention. But now Gypsy's like getting her own attention in her own way. And this is probably what Dee Dee always wanted. Um, so it's kind of sad. I've sort of held off on having a major judgment towards Gypsy. And now as I've seen her really become a part of Christy Blanchard's toxicity, um, I'm starting to feel as though there's just really, you know, I have a lot of concerns about what's going to happen going forward. Growing up and standing on my own two feet, um, learning through experiences, because in heaven, they say that like all mental afflictions, all physical afflictions are gone, right? God makes you perfect in heaven. So if you take away the mental afflictions that my mother had, then I think what's left is a good person at the end of the day is a good person. Do I have regrets? Oh yeah, I've got many. 
but nobody's going to be able to tell me things about myself that I don't already know. Um, so that's what I want to touch base on with my mom is concerned. Um, so I will say a prayer for her today. And I will remember the good that was inside of her, whether that be extremely deep or not. Um, so I'll say a prayer. Um, okay, moving on to the other women in my life. So my stepmom, Christy, has been like my biggest advocate. This I find really interesting, okay? In some ways, Christy has. Christy has been out there the whole time that Gypsy was in prison talking about her, keeping her name on the forefront, putting her all over social media, but I don't think it was in the best way possible. I told you guys that I'm working on a video called The Toxic Web of Christy Blanchard. It's all about how she formed really crazy, weird relationships with all these women all over YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, and she really didn't seem to give much of a shit about Gypsy during that period of time. Now, she was, you know, continuing to grow the Gypsy empire to make Gypsy's name famous or even more infamous than it already was. That's what she was doing, right? Um, so maybe she helped Gypsy kind of build up all of this talk to get her a book, to get her a show. So maybe she did help in those kinds of ways. But did she help Gypsy's mental health? Is she 110% behind Gypsy, like getting better and living a productive and healthy life, I think we could really argue whether or not that's the case. For my freedom, my growth, me and my stepmom have a really close bond. Um, she has always stood beside me, whether I made wrong choices, right choices she might not always agree with my choices but she does what she can to guide me as a mother figure and she is just an incredible kick-ass woman like the strength inside this woman is insane and she has just been so patient with me um god my lazy eye is kicking today as you can see i'm kind of Tired. still patch that eye if she really wanted to um i do think like whatever i don't really notice it but if it bothers her you can tell it bothers her like she could always do the patching she probably won't because it would take time and patience and she <laughs> doesn't seem to have the patience for it but she's just been a very impactful woman i feel like i can go to her for advice I feel like she has guided me in the sense of coming into my womanhood. Um, if I have a question about even the simplest dumb shit, like, I go to her for it. Um, and I'm going to be real with you guys. Like, I'm not going to talk a certain way or act a certain way because this has nine point whatever million followers. I'm going to be very real with you guys. Um, this is who I am on a daily basis, like it or not. Um... So, yeah, Christy has just been, like, an amazing mother figure to me, and she's going to continue being one to me. Um, and then also there is Ken's mom, Raina. Um, okay, this is where it gets really hilarious because Ken's mom, Raina, has been all over basically TikTok, but other social media forums as well, talking about Gypsy since Gypsy and Ken got back together. And she had been talking like she had no idea what was going on with them. Like, let me tell you a little bit about what happened. It's in all of my videos. But basically, she went on someone's TikTok and said, like, Ken and Gypsy, they are together. They're just friends. And I support her. And then Ken came out and said, my mom has no idea what's going on in my life. She hasn't been involved and she doesn't know that I left my fiance recently because she was talking about him having a fiance. <laughs> So then she changed her tune and started going on other people's TikToks. She even went on Flawless Nina and Flawless Nina laid into her and was like, you can't be supporting this woman. And Raina was like, yeah, I think you're right. Like, <laughs> so I have no idea why all of a sudden Gypsy wants to pretend like she has this fabulous relationship with Ken's mom, Raina. It's just not there. I mean, we just saw it play out on TikTok. They don't really know each other. Um, Gypsy's going to go on to say that they met while she was in prison. I just, I don't believe all this BS. Even Ken's sisters have come forward and said, like, Gypsy's not going to survive in our household. 
we're not gonna let that happen. I don't know if they're kidding or what, but it just does not sound like this is a family that's like, yay, gypsy, except when it comes to the attention on TikTok and potentially the money. Because once it looked like Gypsy had a good amount of money, I think Raina did change her tune about Gypsy. So here we have Gypsy rewriting history once again. I met Ken's mom in person in 2019. She came to visit me in Shella Coffee. Um, this is when Ken and I were still engaged. And um, she's been, gosh, she's just been such an accepting person of me. Like, I never thought that I would be accepted and loved for who I am like take Ken out of the equation like she still loves me for me she actually like supported me before Ken and I even got together the first time um and she goes to bat for me like in lives and social media like she will defend me that's not what I've seen I have seen her like in that first live she did say like we need to give people grace and forgiveness this is a young girl who deserves forgiveness <laughs> okay go back in my videos and watch what Raina had to say because it's a little bit like at first I was like what a nice woman but then as you see her go on to these other lives and kind of just change her tune to go along with whatever the presenter is saying so when flawless Nina was like people need to stop giving Gypsy so many passes they need to stop letting her get away with this behavior Raina was like yeah I understand what you're saying yeah totally so she doesn't she goes to bat for whatever she wants to talk about at that point in time is the feeling I get um, we'll see. Maybe after this, maybe after this amazing Mother's Day shout out from Gypsy, Raina will become her number one fan. One thing that really bothers me about this, though, is that Gypsy's doing what she's done before. She got mad at Ryan Anderson because Ryan's mom wasn't 110 percent on her side over her own son, Ryan. And here she's kind of saying, like, you know what? Ken's mom loves me for me outside of Ken. And I, I made a big deal about this in one of my last videos. I said, hey, Gypsy, the world doesn't revolve around you. And how it actually works is any mom or dad is going to be there for their child, number one. I'm sorry. Now, maybe after years and years, you know, my husband and I have been together 13 years, whatever. I am very close with my mother-in-law. I mean, maybe at that point in time, <laughs> they may be like siding with you or whatever, um, but not you know, when they just met you, that's ridiculous. And that's part of your self-centeredness. And it's springing forth once again in this relationship with Ken. Um, she calls me out on if I'm doing something wrong, but she defends who I am as a person. She wants me and Ken's happiness. She's just an all around good mom that wants the best for her kids. Um, and also someone else that I would like to give a shout out to is, um, Aunt Vicky. So she's not biological. Here's where I really, really thought she was going to say, I want to give a shout out to Katie Joy Paulson from Without a Crystal Ball. But alas, she didn't, which makes me sad for Katie. Um, well, there's always next year. <laughs> you know, it's just kind of a thing, you know. Play my aunt, but she's just as good as like her and Christy let me tell you my god if I do something that they don't think is smart I have to hear it from both of them <laughs> but Vicky has been extremely supportive as well uh interesting there's a woman named Dawn who's been involved with Christy Blanchard and that camp for so long I'm kind of surprised that Gypsy didn't bring her up at all but Christy recently had a major falling out with her even though they've been friends for 10 plus years and Dawn has supported her through so much BS so it's very interesting to me the moves that are being made the toxicity that's being spread um i think this is just part of the culture of who these families are this kind of like gossipy and i'm gossipy myself but this way of like sort of turning on people adopting people into your like friendship group and then and then stabbing them in the back or in the front and having the police chase after you you can hear them in the background like it's just kind of a thing um, unfortunately. And it is hard for me to watch Gypsy really going down the rabbit hole of becoming a big part of Christy Blanchard's toxic web. Um, and I don't think that it's going to serve her in the end. I believe that ultimately Christy will protect herself. <laughs> 
over Gypsy. Um, I do think that she is in it. Like she's willing to support and be there for Gypsy as long as there's like some fame and money that comes out of it, you know, and some freebies. And, you know, she probably does care about Gypsy because this has been a really major tragedy in the lives of everyone in this family. And nobody has really cared about Gypsy as a human being. And Christy knows that she's a big part of the reason why Rod left Dee Dee in the first place. So there's probably some measure of guilt about that. Some thoughts about like, how can I be there for Gypsy, but also get something out of it for me. And it all culminates in this amazing, wonderful, happy Mother's Day TikTok speech. <laughs> so here we are, guys. Gypsy did go ahead and address um, Dee Dee on Mother's Day. I would love to hear what you have to say. Like, comment, and subscribe for me. That would mean a lot. But I really want to get your comments. I want to hear what you have to say. So many people will be like, you are just stupid, Katie. You are stupid, rabbit. You know, like, stop even giving these people any benefit of the doubt. But I think no one is all good. No one is all bad. So I'm kind of back and forth about all of it. And yet I definitely see the manipulation, the issues that are going on here and the toxicity. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow when we head down another rabbit hole.